Okay, so I'm running my Windows 10 on Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, this is the same as the previous build if you want to know about the configuration and everything like that. But I just wanted to show a few things that are working. So I'll just switch into screen capture now. And uh, I've just done a search for a track on the iTunes Store. So if I click on that track, I can click play. And it will play through my little Bluetooth speaker. And if I pause that, I can also cast it to my home pods so I'll turn off my Bluetooth speaker because it would play both at the same time so if I then press the space bar so you can hear that plays fine uh, also it works on uh, movies as well but not very well so if I click on movies I've got some uh, in my library because Apple, every every Christmas, Apple used to give you free movies, so that's why well, we bought Frozen. But some of these were free from Apple. So let's pick Home Alone and click play, and it tells me about being a lower resolution because I'm running at 720. So hit play movie, and uh, you'll see that it plays the movie. But it is it is a bit choppy. It's not great. There you go. So it's playing. But it is, it does get very choppy as you can see. Uh, it's not something you'd want to watch like that. But weirdly the audio mostly is all right. Uh, so, but you could also, if you would use AirPlay, that would send it over to, the, uh, to my Apple TV and that would play because the Apple TV would take over. So if I do, uh, let's close that down and show you the next thing that I also had working, uh, which was TuneIn Radio. Uh, so I mean, down the same sort of thing really being a, a, a streaming audio system so you would expect it to work but it's just nice to see it working on Windows on an ARM processor and not having any issues so let's just wait for that to load up the tiles click on LBC and hit play like, um, I don't know whether you know about and you can hear that radio station coming through there, so I won't play any more of that. Okay, so I also wanted to show a couple of games. Uh, so this is an archery game. Don't get too excited by those graphics because uh, it's not going to look like that. But it is all right, uh, and it is, it's pretty playable. There's a bit of lag there, but you could see that, that, say that that was... Uh, oh, I, keep, I keep getting these pop-ups, and I don't know how to get rid of them. This is Windows Store. Uh, the free apps come up with these so annoying pop-ups uh, that you have to get rid of every time. But I don't know, there's no X by it, so if I click on it, it'll open the store. Right, so if I press and hold and then release, you can see that I can, and I'll move it a bit this time. It's a bit, it's a bit laggy, but that's part of the fun. Oh, and the, these pop-ups, I mean, this is just ridiculous. What is Microsoft doing, allowing this sort of pop-up to, to be able to, and, and this is still here, look, which is annoying as well. So let's just try one more level of this. So let's go slightly under. And there you go. So moves at quite a reasonable pace. If I go, if I go, if I press and hold and go left and right, oh no, there's definitely something's gone slow there. But it has been working absolutely fine. As I say, this advertising is annoying. So let's quit out of that and launch. Oh, see, this stays like. So I'm used to iOS and you don't get loads of this uh, annoying pop-ups in the same way. Oh. Oh, so it's launching a, look, it's launching a page now. Pop-ups, eh? Uh, so the other one I wanted to show was... And I don't think this is bad for pop-ups, this one. Hill climb. Now again, there's a bit of lag here. Uh, it is, it's playable, um, but uh, but it could do with a little speed boost. So, you know, hopefully when we get the RAM sorted out, that's going to make all the difference. You can hear the audio sounds fine straight away. More adverts. With no X. To get rid of it brilliant so hit start and uh, it's just left arrow and right arrow so left 
right arrows accelerate. And I don't think this, like, like some of the other games like this, I don't think there is a rotate option. I think you're just, you're going as it is. So some of the games allow you to save yourself by rotating. I think with this, you just got to slow down and speed up oh, at the right time. Let's try one more go at that. Could be wrong. Or maybe you, like if you brake and accelerate, I don't, but I don't think it does anything in the air. So if I brake just at the brow of a hill, it will tip the nose down slightly, like that, look, and that might save me. Actually, it's better than it has been. Oh, that's gone, isn't it? Definitely gone. Right, so let's quit out of that. And the last thing I was going to show was in the Chrome browser. And this actually applies to uh, Raspbian and Ubuntu or every, anything that uses the Chrome browser. Uh, you have the Google Cast ability, uh, but it means that if you've got a TV with YouTube, uh, and I think this works for Netflix as well, uh, it automatically picks up on the same network and lets that device take over. But if you were searching for YouTube clips uh, and you wanted to send them over to your TV, I'll show you what happens on my Sony TV, which is an Android TV. It's a bit slow to load up the page. So let's click on this football video. Something with a bit of movement in it. And then as soon as you get the casting icon, uh, and my TV is turned off at the moment, so what I'll do is press the cast icon. You see that it tells me I've got Stadia. It doesn't work with the UV box. And I've also got my Sony TV, so I'll have a click on that. I'm just going to click on skip ads as well. And so my TV switches on. And it starts to play. And if I go back over to the keyboard, and I can pause that so you can see that's paused straight away. And uh, it doesn't play on the Pi. This is the way casting works. But anyway, I just thought that was something else interesting to show. I uh, hope you like this. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.